Hey, so we're back for circuit diagrams part two. We will be going from a circuit diagram back through to an expression. So I'll start by just making up a diagram and then we're going to decipher it. All right, so suddenly we've got this diagram and we're like, oh no, what do we do? So I, the approach that I always take is I start from the left and I work my way across and I just pick something and I run with it, okay? So the first gate I come across, so left to right, top to bottom, first gate I come across is this little guy here. Okay, so I'm gonna work with it. That looks like an and to me. So I can whack my little and in there. And it is ending together, so I follow it back to the left and it's the knot of A and I trace the other input back, and that's a B. So it's ending together, not A, and B. Then I'm going to have a look at my next gate that I come across, and that happens to be this little guy here. And let's trace it back. Its first input is a B, and of course we said it was ending, and we trace the second input back, and that's a not C. So I can whack that one in there as well. Okay, so I've already done half of our diagram. And then we follow it through because both of those were linked together with another gate and that's this little gate over here which looks remarkably like an OR. And it just took the output of one, the output of the other, and it OR'd the two results. And that is equivalent to F. Okay, so you just work top to bottom, left to right, just like you would as an expression except you're working in reverse order. Let's try one that's a little bit harder. Okay, we've got something wonderfully messy here. Let's just take our systematic approach to it and work our way through. So let's start off with top left. That looks like an OR. And it's ORing not A with B. Okay, let's wrap that up in a set of brackets. So that's this bit done. Okay, now that gets awed together with, let's trace it back, it gets awed together with B. And that produces a result, let's pop those in brackets. And that gets ended together with, let's trace that back, that gets ended together with a C. Now that produces a result, let's put brackets around it, and it gets awed together with a C. So this is this little guy. Then we've got this little guy. Then this little guy's over here. And this is our last little bit. And that is equivalent to Q. Okay, so work your way top to bottom, left to right. And if in doubt, whenever you've got something that produces a single output, wrap it in brackets, as I've done here. Okay, so give you one last one to have a crack at. Okay, let's have a go at this one. So, top to bottom, left to right. Let's start with this end. Its input is an A and a B. And its output is then straight away knotted as well. So let's just whack that knot out there. Okay, so we're up to here. Let's just keep that little marker point. Um, now I'll go to my next gate which is this OR here. And it is ORing so put in, I'm just going to put in brackets here. It's oring together a B and a not C. Okay, so that's that one. And then it produces a result which gets ended with a not D. Oops. Sorry about the mess, we're going to keep and uh, try and ignore it. So we had a not D there, and now we're up to sort of here, and then that result gets 
knotted, but realize that that or went into that end, so it means that we're knotting all of that. I'm probably going to run out of room. Okay, now we're up to here. And into our OR, we've got our first expression. So we can put, I'm just going to put a little arrow there. We can put an OR in there. So not A and B is OR together with B or not C and not D. And there's a third input there, which is, if we can follow the line, is an A. So we OR that together with an A as well. So sorry about the line through the middle. Um, but yeah, hopefully that gives you a little bit more understanding as to how to follow through from a diagram through to an expression.